Casey's miraculous story capturing the attention of many, but especially those in the Craven County community. Nani Your Sides' Kara Gann spoke with a neighbor today and joins us with more on how the community is reacting. Kara. Ken Shayla, like you just heard from Brandon's piece, we heard from the family members, uh, the mother and father, the first time last night, and since then they've asked for privacy. However, we did talk to some neighbors who were also family members of the Hathaways, just about a quarter of a mile, maybe a half a mile down from the great grandmother's house, and they have a few questions surrounding what exactly happened to Casey during those 50 plus hours, but they say they are just thankful that he is alive. This is the area family members say Casey Hathaway was found late Thursday night, just about three quarters of a mile from the place he disappeared from on Tuesday afternoon. It's really scary. Investigators were back at the area along Aurora Road this morning, a site family members say they have never seen before. In such a little small community, wow. it's it's amazing and completely humbling to see the community come together like they have. Toller says she was a part of the initial search Tuesday night. Those woods are thick and we've hunted out there all of our life. So, I mean, we know the woods like the back of our hand and, you know, for us to have not found them, we were kind of getting, we were losing hope there for a little while. She says she is thankful Casey was found alive and well, but she does have some questions. I mean, I, I know a lot of people are confused that, you know, they had searched that area several times and didn't find him. I have a baby that's a couple of years younger than Casey, but they're the exact same size. So, you know, to think that a kid my son's size has made it that far in, in three days' time, it's, it's really scary. The Lord was definitely looking after him. Ken Shayla, during that initial search, to, uh, the um, the family member that I spoke with said that they froze to the bone during the search, and so she can only imagine what Casey went through during that time. Can Shayla? Kara, thank you so much. What's the overall mood there today? What can you tell us about that? It's a lot quieter than it has been. We saw some law enforcement officers starting to leave the area, and the weather even speaks to that. It's a lot more positive today. People are very excited, especially the family members that I spoke to here on Aurora Road. And they also told me that some of them couldn't even sleep last night because they were just so overwhelmed with joy. And all over social media, we've been seeing people say, you know, Casey has become our child during these uh, two and a half days. So it's safe to say everyone here in Craven County and throughout all the parts of the East and North Carolina are just very excited about this news. All right, Kara again reporting. Thank you so much, Kara.